Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so last time we did a video, we were both trying to GoPro, right? Yeah. And amateur as fuck. Now we're not amateur as fuck. Which is really crazy. I think in my video, like I want to put some side-by-side -side footage yeah. of like us back then versus us now. Because yeah. so much has changed. Oh, so well, it's really including cool. my hair and yeah, 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 a lot yeah, of things. Yeah, yeah, a lot of things. Oh yeah. So, we're gonna go through a gluten hamstring workout today. Also surprise. But um yeah, I mean, we're just gonna get right on to it and I will talk to you guys a little bit after about my reverse and shit, so here we go. When I imagined taking that video, I knew that this was gonna be a good one.
I just realized that we need a hook for it though. Oh. Because that hook's attached to the belt. Okay. Okay, like, we're racking for each other. You know? Yes. Like that? Oh yeah, that'll work. Is your back? Back is... at like the side by side and everything uh, we both changed so much and it's really cool to have somebody kind of on the same timeline as me like both of us um, I'll talk about my plans in a minute but both of us like did our pro debut we did that and we both realized like okay there's obviously which everybody can always improve there's more work to do and now we're taking the time off to do it so I know my plans I won't compete again until late next summer next fall so I have about a whole year off 
honestly just because like prep takes a lot from me i know i don't share my protocols with you guys but i am never an easy prep and uh, i need this time i need this time for like my business for my my mental health um, obviously my physical health and between my earning my pro card and my pro debut i didn't try to grow because i wasn't told to grow like my feedback was don't let your glutes grow anymore so i really never took a true off season i always stayed within about eight pounds of stage weight which for some people that's like enough to actually gain some muscle but really i was just working on maintaining so what this whole year is going to do for me is an actual off season i talked about it a little bit on instagram but obviously i want to update you guys on youtube um my goal is not to stay that close to stage weight anymore um like this year to put on muscle i have to put on this body fat i have to eat more i want to really really like have the best off season like full of food because honestly in past off seasons i've like you know reverse and then i get to a comfortable weight where my body just kind of stays the same i i definitely have a large maintenance window meaning i can eat 1600 calories and stay the same weight or i can eat 2200 calories and kind of stay the same weight like it's very it's just a large window basically so i'm going to push food for an entire year um also just because i have been transparent about this type of stuff on youtube i'm i've never ran an off-season cycle so i do plan on doing that this off-season which um I've never done that before. I've always, I've, I've ran two cycles in my whole life, which means PEDs for anybody that, you know, doesn't know what I'm saying. Um, they've always been at the end of prep. So one mild cycle during this whole year of an off season, I'm not gonna just like stay on the whole time. I'm not gonna do that. But um, basically not on zero carbs, which is what I usually run stuff on. <laughs> and uh, so I'll have that on my side as well as food and hopefully add um, a bit of you know, tissue. Um, otherwise, I'm also, I just had my consultation this week. I'm super excited. I'm also getting boobs, so I will need that time off, which I haven't had, you know, six, eight, whatever, however many weeks it takes me to recover. I haven't had that time off for the gym ever. So that's gonna be definitely an adjustment period for me, but obviously I want them to heal correctly. I wanna, you know, I don't want to hurt them, and I want them to last me far beyond competing. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my plans right now. I don't have like a certain show date set or anything, but I am going to film in this off season just because I feel like I'm a lot more comfortable with my body and it's softer stage now than I've ever been. And I think that just came from the confidence I built during my prep because this, um, this prep was definitely the most mentally challenging prep I've ever had. A lot of eyes on me, um, as well as just a lot of pressure that I put on myself. And my body really freaking went through it this prep. Anyway, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go back to my last video. It's the Dallas Bro video. And uh, the thing of me and Brandon talking at the end kind of explains some of that. So anyway that's pretty much all i have for you today i don't want to update you on a whole bunch of stuff because i'm gonna like i said i'm actually gonna film so you guys get to be a part of my life i definitely want to show you more off-season stuff because i feel like a, not a lot of pros like show their full body in the off-season but i'm really proud of what i did with my reverse um i'll go through that real quick i ran a recovery diet so instead of basically i ended at zero carbs i was eating zero carbs which means for me, I don't count vegetables, so it was like 30 carbs of veggies only. Veggies, lean meats, low fats. So instead of just working up to, you know, like 40 carbs, 80 carbs, 120, I jumped straight up to, I basically doubled my calories and cut my cardio in half, which made me put on about five pounds like that, like within about two weeks. And I'm 10 weeks post-show. So since then, that two week mark, I've kind of maintained and just gained like healthy weight. I am currently 11 pounds over stage weight, which I'm super proud of being 10 weeks post-show. That's a pretty good little ratio. I'm eating about 2,100 calories a day plus um, free meals. And you know, socially like drinks here and there, that type of stuff. I'm not really like, you know, I am on a meal plan, 
but I'm still enjoying myself in my life and I really, you know, appreciate that. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to give you guys that kind of update. I'm definitely sharing a lot. I'm showing you that, you know, like I'm obviously human and I really, I feel good this way. I like myself this way. I'm strong this way. And I'm super excited to make some actual improvements. So I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go get some food. Um, this is probably a little bit shorter of a video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll definitely be collabing again with Julia and hopefully with some other people. So if you have anybody that you would like to see me collab with, I'm feeling extra social today. <laughs> Just uh, drop me a comment, maybe give me some ideas there and I'll try to see if I can collab with them. So that's it. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna call this yet, but it'll be in the title. This will be my off season. Yeah, off season opener, right? Let's do that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll see you later. But thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you.